She got a big booty, so I call her Big Booty. Now, that has nothing to do with this video, but I just had to say it. Listen, there's been a lot of drama between WAC 100 and Tax Stone, and you guys are probably like, who the hell is Tax Stone? And you're probably saying, who the hell is WAC 100? Well, WAC 100 is games manager. He also manages Ray J. He's the guy that knocked out Stitches. Just straight up knocked him out, man. All of a sudden, a fist came out of the ground and just knocked out Stitches. And I say that because WAC 100 is a small dude. And Stitches, he's kind of tall. So Tax Stone's the dude that I listen to. He has a podcast and whatnot. And him and WAC have been going backwards and forwards for a very long time. But it seems that things are spicing up between these two because of this whole Soldier Boy and Chris Brown beef. Now, I don't know what it is, but whenever something is going on on the West Coast, WAC 100 is in it. Like, he is seriously in it. He's taking part in it. It doesn't matter what it is. He's in it. Like, as soon as the Soldier Boy thing happened, you know, Floyd Mayweather jumped in the old thing, 50 Cent jumped in it, then all of a sudden, WAC was like, ah, ah. If this is on the West Coast, I'm going to handle this. So he kind of punked Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent out of this whole situation. He took it over. So I found that pretty crazy. Now, WAC 100 has some things to say about Tax Tone, and this is what he said. He goes, I ain't never seen Tax Tone in my life. Nigga infatuated with a man. But when I catch him, he will be punished on Pyro. Oh, I forgot to mention that WAC 100 is in the blood game. He's blinging black, being bull. He's a gangster. I'm not really with that gang stuff. This is what Tax Stone had to say about the whole situation. So here's my solution to this whole thing. Everybody wants to fight these days. Everybody wants to put their hands up and fight. How about this? How about we get WAC 100 and Tax Stone on the Soulja Boy Chris Brown card? We let these two go at it. I think it will be good. You guys let me know what you think about this. Now, this situation is going to get pretty interesting because I don't know, man. I don't see these two backing down. It's going to take someone to step in to ease this situation. Neither of these dudes are going to say, yo, man, my bad, yo, you good. Like, th these are not those kind of dudes. Like, both of these dudes are way too prideful. Like, this ain't Soulja Boy when he beefs with someone and the next day he's like, you know what, man, I didn't have my lean, I didn't have my weed, man, I apologize. This ain't that situation. These two dudes are like rams. So, eventually, they're going to meet up. But here's the thing. One is on the West Coast and one is on the East Coast. We will see what's going to happen soon, and I'll be sure to update you guys as it happens. Somebody's going to catch the hands. I'm just saying. Somebody's going to catch the hands upside their head.